A statue of revolutionary leader and icon Nelson Mandela has been unveiled in Washington outside the South African embassy, where, in the 1980s, thousands of protesters demanded an end to apartheid and Mandela's release from prison. The three-metre statue by South African sculptor Jean Doyle depicts the moment Nobel Peace Prize laureate triumphantly clinched his fist in celebration on February the 11th, 1990, as he walked out of Victor Verster prison after being incarcerated for 27 years. His daughter, Zinzi Mandela, talked about her father, the fighter, during the stirring event. This is a particularly touching event, especially now that the family has been going through very difficult times. We've been very anxious about my father's state of health. We've been very anxious about all types of media speculation. Nelson Mandela is best known as the anti-apartheid leader who was elected as South Africa's first black president in the multiracial elections in 1994, which ended in the white minority rule. His latest hospitalization in June is proof of his fragile state of health, which is a legacy of the nearly three decades he had spent in jail fighting racism, poverty and inequality. The unveiled statue is a gift for all Americans that took part in Mandela's equal rights movements. We thought that there was no better tribute to the people of the United States than bringing Mr. Mandela's first step out of Victor Verster prison after 27 years and placing that first step right here on American soil. So that's the great day. We come to reopen the building and we come to unveil the statue of Nelson Mandela and to pay tribute not only to Mandela, but to all the millions of Americans who sacrificed for us. Even though Mandela has been out of politics and the spotlight for more than a decade now, his ailing health has been causing a wave of concern and sympathy around the globe.